America is missing the big story on government email. During the Bush administration, 22 million emails went missing for the duration of the Bush presidency, first and second term, from 2003 on. The White House relied on a private server run by the Republican National Committee. Karl Rove, one of the president's top advisors, used it almost exclusively, as did many other advisors in the White House. Investigators believe that emails from whole periods of time have disappeared from Vice President Dick Cheney's office during the period leading up to the Iraq war. It's not just any emails we're talking about here. It's not just the kind of emails that we are, we've seen that Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was exchanging with her aides about who to meet with when or about whether she should get her hair done at what time. These were emails that had to do with something as consequential as going to war, starting a war in Iraq that has arguably caused almost every one of the problems that we're facing in the world today, from ISIS to economy to refugees. This was a huge, huge issue. There were investigations. The Senate Judiciary Committee issued contempt citations to Karl Rove and another White House aide because they refused to show up and they refused to bring the emails in. What the White House did was object to those contempt citations in a federal court and run out the clock so that when they finally admitted that those emails were there, they were long gone. Those emails are not going to be viewable until 2021. Essentially, the Bush administration, in hiding 22 million emails, has gotten off scot-free. There's nobody investigating them. They can't be read. And for a nine-year period, these emails were hidden. They were using a private server. There were actual legal proceedings, congressional contempt citations, and nobody's done a thing about it. There was almost no coverage. Imagine if Hillary Clinton had refused to go before the Benghazi committee. Imagine if Hillary Clinton and the, sec and the State Department had said, no, we're not gonna give you those emails. These 22 million emails, and especially the ones that disappeared from the vice president's office, the most powerful vice president in, in recent history, if not ever, would go a long way to explaining what we were doing in Iraq, why we got there, how we got into this epic folly. And we are not at this moment talking about that. We're talking about the Secretary of State's private server and her emails to her aides, and it's absolutely amazing.